welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, Mouse Hunt from 1997. I absolutely loved this film as a child when I was uh, growing up. I was 12 years old when I saw this film the first time after it came out on uh, video. And this movie is just nonstop laughs. It is an absolute comedy. And Gore Verbinski, the director... I believe this is the film that actually launched his career into uh, into or or into the bigger stuff that he's done or that he did later. This movie has an excellent cast: Lee Evans, Nathan Lane, Vicky Lewis, uh, freaking Mark Chagan, Christopher Walken is in this film, as well as the late and great William Hickey, which the film was directed or was uh, dedicated in the memory of he played the father of Ernie and uh Lars Schmuntz Lee Evans and Nathan Lane the mouse the mouse in this film is insanely <laughs> smart folks it, I'm going to give in to get into some spoilers Apparently, the owner of a very um, old house, and a house that actually has a lot of ma or value, which is worth millions, a lost LaRue, or the missing LaRue, as they call it. The owner was uh, locked in a trunk in the attic. And then, later on, you find out just who did it. It was a mouse. Because when they send an exterminator, played brilliantly by Christopher Walken, he plays it like a freaking Vietnam vet going to war. And I'm like, this dude is beyond insane. <laughs> and he goes nuts because he got locked in the trunk in the attic. And they also found one of his tape recorders <laughs> and you hear what happens to him. The, how Lee Evans and Nathan Lane, they played so well off of each other in this film. Where they're trying everything to kill this mouse. There is a freaking tons of laughs that aren't even connected to the mouse and the hunt for the mouse. There's also a couple of other things that are very good. This movie has some themes that some kids may find a little inappropriate, or some t parents may find a little inappropriate for kids, but I don't think that young kids will know exactly what some of the stuff means. Um, because there are a couple of adult theme uh, bits in this. Nothing, No nudity or outright sexual content or anything like that, but you do get the point when it when you see it the room full of mouse traps when they were trying to nab him oh my god that was also a brilliant freaking stroke of genius for this film this movie keeps me going laughing and watching all the way through it is that great now there are some aged digital effects i will get or I will admit that uh, from an objective standpoint this movie is about an 8 to an 8.5 the digital effects are what really hurt this film however the writing is very solid I absolutely enjoyed this film you get tons of laughs you get such a great appreciation for this film when the actors and actresses and all of them have their different roles Ingrid and uh, Hilda, the hair models. Uh, let's see, where where are they? Well, here's one of them. Debbie Christofferson and Camilla Soberg it plays Hilda, the binge lady, as her sister Ingrid. Hild or Hilda, the one that you can't see here, that's not pictured, she has, uh, later in the movie, their hair models from Belgium. And... She has a spool, and her hair is wrapped around it like string with a giant needle, which gets Lee Evans' attention. And it's like, oh my gosh. The ending of this movie, I'm not going to spoil it. The ending is so 
freaking great. Now, I haven't seen this movie in about 20 years. To be completely honest, I have not seen this movie in about 20 years. 19 years to be specific because the last time I saw it was 2004. But this movie is just absolutely great to see. And it's absolutely a fun ride. Your kids will laugh their asses off watching this film. You seriously enjoy the uh, antics that this mouse commits. This mouse has such a character in itself. And there is a point where they get a cat. And it's like, we want a, a vicious killing machine cat. Preferably with a history of mental illness. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, folks, you see some modern technology and some uh, pretty old aesthetic in this film as well. You see video cameras and surveillance cameras, and then you see some, or a nail gun that is cor or hooked up to a cord machine and ran by a, almost like a, a steam or something like that. But, oh my god, the tech, they have such different things in this. And it really is a great lesson, sort of, to let sleeping dogs lie, so to speak. If they would have left the damn mouse alone, they would have probably never had a problem. But they couldn't leave well enough alone, and, oh my god, the, the suffering of these two, Lee Evans and uh, Nathan Lee is hilarious this is a masterpiece of a film I mean I'm not kidding when I say this is a great film even objectively it's an 8.5 that is a pretty good film the digital effects are aged but for the most part this film works in such a great way and I highly recommend it uh, subjectively speaking this film is a freaking 20 out of 10. I absolutely love this film. This is a film that I would show ki my kids or my niece and nephew or anybody else's kids because this will keep them entertained. If they want to watch a good movie and whatnot, this would be the perfect film for them to watch because they will just laugh and laugh and laugh and they will just keep their, they'll just keep their focus on the movie. Um, moviegoer, it's a 10 out of 10. It keeps you engaged. This movie is definitely made more for kids, but it's a kids and family film, as designated. The Rotten Tomatoes score for this film is 44%, which just shows this, goes to show that critics absolutely know nothing about family fun film. This film resonates so strongly with families that... They all love it. I mean, it's voodoo, uh, or it's voodoo score here, which I'll also add to it. I love it. This film is a five star in my opinion, in the voodoo count. However, yes, from an objective standpoint, it is about an eight point five out of ten. So yes, that is my review. Go Gore Verbinski, the, also the uh, score from Alan Silvestri, who also did uh, the score for Captain America, the first Avenger. This guy does great scores, and this one is such a simple score, but also very fun, and it works so well. The cast is amazing. The writing is very funny. Um... Yeah, this film works. It's just that the digital effects could be better. And when this movie uh, is based where digital effects are necessary, they do play a bigger role, even though the film is mostly practical effects. Except for the mouse, the cat that is used later on, uh, this film just does a wonderful job. Anyway, that is going to be my review. Just wanted to get this out there. This is a brilliant film. I absolutely love it. You'll love the ending, how they, 
how it ends. Uh, the actor William Hickey played such a great. There's he has a portrait in the factory that the brothers own. Oh my God, it is so great how his expressions changed given the situation. <laughs> It's one of those kind of films. But yes, this film is truly great and I enjoyed it. Anyway, that will be the review. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you think of Mouse Hunt if you've seen it? Did you like it? Did you not? What was your favorite scene? What got you to laugh the most? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Have a wonderful day and always remember, stay humble.